Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Dunedin International Ice Stadium as we bring you live streaming broadcasting footage of Game 2 here in Dunedin. The Phoenix Thunder playing host to the Botany Swarm. Game number two of the weekend. Game one last night, if you caught it. Going to the Swarm, 6-3. Final score there. Courtesy of goals from Kozak, Cole, Hopkinson, Voltanov, Oli Hay, and Johnson. So the top two lines for the Swarm really pulling out there and getting their team over the line. Thunder struggled a little bit last night trying to make some plays. Just didn't happen for them. They were making passes just a little bit behind each other at the feet and unable to really get a lot of momentum going but they managed three goals courtesy of Paris Hyde, Ben Harford and first time scorer in the NZHL Ian Ortis and he was a very happy young lad getting that goal just through the pads of Matt Kennedy and dribbling over the red line I've had confirmation of the starting goalies for tonight so I'll give you those, we've got uh, Grace Harrison I believe is scheduled to start for the Botany Swarm and Toby Shuck will be starting for the Phoenix Thunder. Couple of points about tonight. You can always vote for the new, new, new legend lager player of the game as always. So keep an eye out for your favourite players who's having a great game and go on to their Phoenix Thunder Instagram page and have your say. I'd like to name a few sponsors before we get this game underway and warm-ups come to a close, bringing us ice hockey here in Dunedin. It's not an easy thing. It takes a lot of help and we get a lot of help from Phoenix Organics, the name and rights sponsor of the Phoenix Thunder. Dunedin Ice Stadium is where we play our games. New, new, new corporation coming on board this year, providing tasty beverages for all the fans up in the stand. And we've got another good crowd here tonight. Anytime fitness, helping the lads reach peak fitness, get on top of their game. Calder Stewart, Lickland Anderson's Bay, Calder Construction, Osaki Otago, Battery Town, Goldman Group, Kia Photos, all contributing to make this the wonderful experience we have in front of us tonight. And as I mentioned before, we've got the Phoenix Thunder Instagram page where you can go and vote for the Lager Legend of the Player of the Day. But also check out Phoenix Thunder on Facebook and do the same for all the Botany Swarm fans out there. Get on the Instagram pages, get on the Facebook pages of your respective team and, and join the talk, join the chat, get into it. Last night we had some milestone games for a couple of the boys here in the Phoenix Thunder. We had Jacob Hurring playing his 100th and Paris Hyde playing his 150th game for the Thunder. But it wasn't the party they wanted. Tonight they'll be more motivated to come out and give the crowd what they want, which is a solid victory on home ice for the very first home round of the official NZIHL 2021 season. Coming out to start this game, we've got Devlin out there with Hurin and Agriar and tonight for the first time this year at the back got Max Hurin and Tristan Darling and the Hopkinson line out there for the Swarm with Vortanov and Kozak will be on the left wing Lepanovic and Hay the captain for the Swarm starting defenseman Of course, if you want to check out the live stats, always go to the nzicehockey.co.nz page. Follow the menu to the New Zealand Ice Hockey League 2021 page. Load up that stats page. You can find out all sorts of things. Why penalties were called. How many shots 
how many saves, goal scorers and assists, all those kinds of things. I, I follow it. It's you know, I catch most of, most of the information because this game is just so fast, it's hard to keep up with everything that's happening around you. And there we go, off to the races here in Dunedin. Bunny Swarm with the puck first up. Kozak's moving through the neutral zone. He steps in around behind the net. Looking to the front, but is at the feet. Defensive player. He's therefore in front, almost. Can he get the puck? He got it on goal. Chuck stopped it. It's out in the corner now for the Thunder. Can't clear it. Pass and a tip towards goal. And behind the net, though. Safely away for the Thunder to come out. Taking their time. Chipping ahead. Kept in by the Swarm. It's not a high stick. Yes, it is. Just a slightly delayed call there. Face-off will be to the right of Toby Shuck, who's starting in net for the Thunder tonight. I mentioned last, uh, just a bit earlier, that the top line for the Swarm was dominant last night, scoring seven points between them and three goals. Swarm start out from behind their own net, but kept in by the Thunder. Hyde puts it back to in right down low, looks to the front, and Hyde just couldn't get a stick on it. Looking for the centering pass was Johnson. He's picked it up, he shakes a shot, goes wide of Shuck. Gregory finds in right, in right. He's got Paris Hyde with him, but nice stick there by the defensive player, Thula. Intercepted the pass before Paris Hyde can get going. On the far side there for the Thunder. They chip it ahead. Nice big chip up to Parasite. He's got Enright going to the front. Enright goes backhand. And Grace Harrison with the kick save. Puts it out into the corner. Rung around the boards. Just skipped in by Darling there. And he's chipped it down. It's going to be picked up by Thula here. Looks to the centre. No icing as there's a tip on the play just about halfway. Commons will chip it ahead and he'll go after it. Thunder trying to clear this puck out. Can't keep it in. Chung takes a shot. It's a little bit weak, but it's in front. It's been picked up and it's been put in the goal by the Swarm. Chung with a shot from the point. And it was a little bit of a weak one, but it bounced just perfectly for the Swarm to pick it up. And then Deket in behind Shuck. And the swarm have opened the scoring here tonight like they did last night. And it's only taken them two minutes and 18 seconds to get on the board. I didn't catch the number of the goal scorer, but I'll try and pick that up on the stats page like I always do. And we'll get that name out to you. Time off. Nice little pass to Hopkinson, but he gets taken off the puck. And Thunder with it at the back. Looking across the ice. Back to Darling. He goes up the middle. It's been missed by McKenzie, who's in the lineup tonight. And that'll be an icing. Woodston Lee. Josh Woodston Lee was the goal scorer there. So I'm sure friends and family will be very happy with that one. Playing on the third line there tonight for the Swarm. Hopkinson on the dot. He gets it back to Lipanovic. He shoots. It's been tipped and goes wide but picked up by Hay. Back into the corner for the Swarm. Looked into the centre. Just missed by the man going through. Pratley's pass has been picked up by the Swarm. There for Lewis. Lewis gets it taken off by Hay, who chips it ahead. 
hurrying up the boards, but no Thunder players within Kiwi to get it. Will turn off. Looking up the centre, picked up by Devlin. Steps into the zone. Gets taken off the puck by Kozak. Kozak's going to step ahead into the neutral zone, trying to go around Hurry. Gets it into the corner. And nice defensive play by Devlin. Separates the man from the puck. And behind the net, though, again, the swarm. Looking to the front now, shot. Didn't get a lot on it. And now it's hurrying with it at the back. Now that's that's Reed. Reed and hurrying to me look quite similar. Tall players. Long sticks. But an icing from a misdirected pass by Reed. Reed's out there with Regan Wilson, defensive pairing. whole lot of chips going past me with lots of tomato sauce on it. Big box. Very jealous. Centering pass from the Swarm. This is everyone. Kept in though. Hurrying. Takes the man off the puck. Devlin finds Aguirre. He goes to the backhand. Doesn't get to the man. Doesn't get to the goaltender though. Out come the Swarm. It's Ollie Hay with it. He steps in. He's got Cole with him. Cole just couldn't get a stick on it as it went towards the front of the net. Cole goes after it behind the net. Holly Hay with it. Steps him to the front, takes a shot, and Shuck has it covered up. Face-off comes all the way out of the zone and down into the defensive area. Chung getting hassled by Enright. He puts it to the centre to hide. Hyde takes a shot. Good save by Harrison. It's there again for the Thunder. It's loose in front. And the Swarm get it. They chip it ahead and get out of it. Fantastic opportunity for the Thunder. They couldn't capitalise on it, though. Left behind by Haring. Hyde will skate out from his own zone. Steps to the middle. Avoids the check. Gets it up to Gregory. Trying to pass to himself. To Hyde. Hyde shoots. And it's up and over the top. And out of play. Great chance there by Hyde. Two chances on that shift for him. Looking dangerous, but unable to put the biscuit in the basket. Swarm win the defensive draw and they chip it up up the boards. <laughs> That's offside, surely. No. Hey, looks across to Lapanovic. Looks up ice. Picked up by Butanov. Gets it to the center man, but good stick there by Ian Ordis. Able to break up the play. Behind the net, the swarm. Looking out in front. Can't find a lane. Goes to the front, takes a backhand shot, but good stick there by the defender. Forces it wide. Swarm, still with the puck, taking a shot. It's been blocked. Thunder, looking to get this one out. And they do so. Whistle calls play dead. It's going to be a face-off. Somewhere in the neutral zone by the look of it. Actually... Penalty called. We got player in the box for the Swarm. It's going to be a power play for the Phoenix Thunder here. First power play tonight. Six minutes in. Let's see what they can do. Unsuccessful last night on power play Thunder. Swarm able to clear this one out off a good win. Tristan Darling is going to chase this one down. Got Cole on top of him, but he gets it to Harin. Darling to Haren. Tried to deke his way in. Couldn't do so. Darling's going to step into the zone. He's going to try and deke around a couple, but he's given up the puck and Swarm will clear it out.
It's Jacob Hone with it. Gets it into the zone. He's got it. Pulls up. Got it at his feet. Cleared out by the Swarm. They're doing a good job here of killing this penalty so far. They've killed off 50 seconds. Thunder makes some changes. Harford with it. Looks up to Gregory. He gets taken off the play and he's been tumped into the Swarm bench. Nice hit there. Take a seat. Not sure who laid the head there, but it was well-timed. Arian looked up the center. Dangerous play, but uh, Kozak was there. Almost stole it. Struggling to really get themselves set up here in the Thunder. Good pressure by the Swarm. Enright has it. He steps into the zone. Goes past Manus Barakowskis to hide to Enright, but Harrison with the save. Harford just lost it and is back into the neutral zone. They were to start out again. The Thunder. 15 seconds left. In right. Looks across. Been intercepted. It's Johnson with it. Steps into the zone. Centering. Been intercepted by the Thunder though. They've got the puck. Hyde kicks it to a stick. Gets it. Stick removed from his hands. Shot by Cole. Now he shoots. He dangled nicely. Faked the shot beautifully. And Shuck with a diving play. He faked me out. He faked the defender out. He went around and almost tucked it in behind Shuck. For goal number two. But Was it to be that time? Johnson at the face-off. Up against Rolf. Kept in by the Swarm just momentarily. And Ortis. Sorry, that's Sam Ortis. Chasing the puck down, Sam. Looking to the centre. Thula picked it up though and he skates out behind the net to Mawson. Thula picks it up. Charging ahead. Pulls up on the half boards. Looks to centre it. Picked up by Johnson. He goes to the backhand. It's loose in front. There's a shot and it's been deflected high. Sam Waters savvy to chip this one ahead. It's going to go all the way down for Icing. But it's been waved off. Thule will turn off. Johnson with it. He's got Lepanovic with him. Lepanovic just loses the puck. He centers it. Picked up by Darling. And he reassesses and skates behind. Thunder coming out of their own zone. Off the boards. To Prattley. Gets it to Lewis. Lewis steps to the middle. Lewis is shooting. And it's gone high into the glass. Swarm with it. It's been jammed up there on the half boards. Oh, and Lewis's pass goes straight to the Swarm who take a shot and it goes wide for turn off shot. Off to the right of Shuck. Stepping in and shooting, just straight into the pads. No pressure on the from the defenders. Just allowing the Swarm to walk in and take a shot there. It's picked up by Lewis. He's got Prattley in front of him. He decides to Dump it in and go for a change. And Grace Harrison will cover it up. So for all you guys that like to watch ice hockey live, coming into the stadiums and enjoying what you see, teams are handing out sales pizza vouchers. Thanks to sales pizza for supporting the league. Their authentic New York pizza is sold everywhere. And our NHL games are played. Hocking and pizza. Now that's the match made in heaven. I sense called against the Bonnie Swarm here. I do agree. Pizza and anything is a match made in heaven, to be fair. I just love pizza. Pepperoni. All day, every day. Alrighty. Face off. 
Picked up by the Swarm and behind and cleared out. Harford trying to get a backhand, but the Swarm just gumming up the play there. Commons with the puck looking up. Centre of the ice. Missed Winston Lee. Winston Lee's going to get it behind the net. Trying to go around Harford. who's fallen over. And the pass goes straight through. Bounces all the way to the far side and out. Thula to Commons. Ref got in the way. Left here for Aguirre. Takes a shot. It's been played into the corner by Harrison. In the middle of the ice for the Swarm to pick it up. Cole trying to chase this one down. Chipped ahead by Aguirre. Mawson skating out of the zone. Looks up the boards to Johnson. Johnson steps in. Back to Mawson. Mawson takes a shot. Nice save by Shuck. That was a hard low shot there. Chipped ahead by the Thunder. It's up high. Mawson back on defense now. He's everywhere. Cole steals the puck from Gregory, but he can't get past Reed. Reed will put it up the boards. Gregory trying to get it high, but Swarm keeping it in. Doing a good job of hemming. Oh, that puck is just loose at the feet of Shuck as he tried to play it. High chips it ahead. It's going to be a chance for Enright and Hyde. It's a three on O. Oh. Enright steps ahead. He shoots into the pads of Harrison with a great save. Fantastic A plus chance. Oh, the Thunder right there. But they couldn't make it count. Enright had a hit of steam up. And he got ahead of a of his teammates. And couldn't create the three on oh opportunity. Great Harrison with a great stand up save there. Fantastic work from her. Lapanovic gets round one, can't get past Hurry. Thunder will send this one in, chase after it. The third line, the young players, Waters Brothers and Rolf, getting a lot of ice time, proving themselves to be capable of running with the big boys of the New Zealand Ice Hockey League. Swarm with a long pass. It's missed. And it's going to go down for icing. I love to see a nice crowd here in Dunedin. The bleachers are full. we got standing room only. And the walkway players... Love to have a big crowd. The crowd roaring on every big play. Must be great to hear. And I'm sure the close-up view from being right on the boards for these spectators is fantastic. Feeling the hits as the players come together. Bouncing pass up the middle. Can't be corralled by Kozak as it bounced in front of him. Devlin works his way in. But Vultanov is the one to win the puck. Kozak with some speed, picks it up, shoots it, shuck into the glove. Nicely saved. He plays it behind the net. Some confusion there. But the Thunder get away with it. Harford. Harford's pass is intercepted. Devlin now can play it up the ice. Don't need that pen anyway. Picked up by Gregory. Can't step around Mawson. Playing well defensively, Mawson. Getting into the action tonight as well with a good shot before. That one shot from Hyde off the side of the net. Pass to the middle. Picked up by Prince Lou, who gets taken off the puck by Wilson with a solid hip check. Another check. Lost his helmet, the player over there. He has to leave the ice now. Oh, another hit. Thick and fast. These hits are coming. There's a chance for Enright. He's going to try and step around one. 
Goes across to Gregory who shoots. Oh, he put it past the goal. Enright is down. He doesn't look good. But he steps back into the plate. Gregory trying to find him. Can't do so. Puck's back in the defensive zone for the Thunder. Long pass across ice. Mawson takes a hard shot and out to the corner by Shuck. Cole loses the puck for the Thunder who get it out. Slopanovic now for the Swarm on the near side. Just selects to dump it towards Shuck who pads it away for Darling to pick up. He brings it around the boards. In orders with it, looks up to Connor Rolf. Connor Rolf trying to get around Ollie Hay. Andy Hay likes to play this around the boards. To Cole puts it back to Hay. Swarm playing great defensively here at the moment. Using the body well to keep the Thunder out of the zone. Rolf to Ordis. Steps around one. He's got one man to beat. He likes to shoot and it's into the pads of Harrison. A little bit of a rebound there but she covers up nicely. Calm under pressure, Grace Harrison. Puck dropped in front of her, but she was quick to recover. In order, so the nice wee move there. Known for skating around numerous players in the Dunedin Ice Hockey League. Like a hot knife through butter. Probably a little bit more difficult in the NZI Childer. Beat players with a higher intensity and increased speed, but we saw a little glimpse of it there. Harvard with a drive of the pads. There's a rebound. Thunder can't tuck it home. It's back out in front. Devlin shot is deflected up high. It's really high. And Harrison with a great catch. Harford with a good drive there. Creating the opportunities in front of the net. Clean face off win. Needed but unable for the Thunder to get it. Kept in by Harford. Now the drive and tipped in front. Oh, it just goes wide. A mere inch to the left of the post. Harford pinching down low, trying to keep the puck in. Picked up by Devlin, whose shot goes up and over the net and was deflected. Agri at uh, Harin. Harin to the centre. It's there for the Thunder. They can't get it in this time either. Now they're creating opportunities. Mawson. Holds up. Harin's on top of him. Mawson kicks it out. He's lost it to Devlin. Turned it back around and it's going to be there for Thula. And behind the net, that's Devlin trying to free the puck. Agria looks out to Harford. Shoots it. And Harrison makes another save. That went into the chest. Harford known for his booming shots from the point. One of two players from the Dunedin Thunder to have scored a goal in every game this season. I'll give you one guess to answer who the other player might be. Thunder play this one towards Harrison who's going to hold it. And the whistle goes. I think we might have a... There's a discussion here. The referee is going to send a player to the box. Yes, it's going to be, I think, a delay of game there from Harrison. Caught the puck outside the blue paint and held it rather than playing it. So referees determined, determined that she had delayed the game and there's a two-minute penalty. So Thunder to the power play once more. They win the face-off to Harford at the back. Looking across to Hurring. Takes a low shot. And it's out wide into the corner, picked up by Hyde now. To the top for Harford. To Hyde. The middle for Grigory. Hyde trying to get the pass to Hurring. 
intercepted by the Swarm. And they get it out, only halfway. Harford waits for players to get back on side. It's a cross to Hyde. Hyde gets it to Harford. Fanned on the shot, and it's been cleared up by the Swarm all the way down. Shuck will come out to play it. Swarm change. Fresh penalty kills on the ice. No changes for the Thunder. Parasite gives it up. And he's got it. No, he does not. Oh, it's going to be a race between Hurrying and Johnson. Hurrying wins it. Gets it up to Harford. But Johnson hustling hard. Hay with it now. Yeah. Good way to kill penalties. Fortunately, card. In right, steps into the zone, trying to go around Mawson. He gets around, he goes to the front, trying to tuck it home on Harrison, but she's solid. She doesn't move. She's like a rock. She just stays there on the post. And the puck goes nowhere. Still got 40 seconds left on the power play. Swarm will clear it out. Thunder will start from their own end. Darling gets it back to Devlin. Devlin trying to skate around Mawson, but great play. Mawson keeps them out. Mawson's going to pick it up behind the end after a funny bounce. Goes to the centre, goes through. Kozak will keep this one down low and it's going to end the penalty in the end. Perry is not far to go either. Flipped ahead by Darling. Picked up by the Thunder. A shot from Lewis goes into the legs. Darling's going to chip this one up the boards. Lepanovic has it. He's going to take a drive from halfway. Goes past. Got Shuck safely into the corner. And that is going to bring an end to the game's play of period one. Where we have a 1-0 game to the Botany Swarm. Courtesy of a Winston Lee goal. Assisted by Eric Chung. Couple of penalties in the period. Fultanoff and Harrison... But the two power plays for the Thunder unsuccessful. Thunder really struggling to create a lot of momentum. They had a few opportunities there. Paris Hyde with a couple. And then towards the end there on the power play there was a couple of opportunities. But I'm sure the talk will be about zone time for the Thunder and the players changing rooms trying to do more than just in and out one and done get in the zone cycle the puck and create chances we've got ourselves a slightly different intermission entertainment here looks like we're going to have some bubble football and you can see them coming out onto the ice now and their bubble suits Swarm will be happy with the way they're playing defense. Have you cut it? Yeah, Swarm will be very happy with their defense. Really clogging up the blue line and keeping the Thunder out. This is a bit different, this one. Bubble football. <laughs> I'm not sure. We've got blue and orange. I don't know who any of these people are. Looks like there's almost a goal there from blue. Haven't seen anyone get a big hit there. Here comes orange. Oh, here we go. Two players down. 
Blue with the ball, with the puck, I should say. Another player down. Someone's going to get some momentum going here. Really take someone out. Oh, there we go. That's a good hit. You want big hits. This is it. And Blue scores. Yes, there you go. 1-0 Blue so far. Fantastic. Look at that. Of course, you can't ask for a better safety. But oh, it's right off, right off the face-off. Solid hit. Blue's got to play defense. Orange coming in. They've lost their shin pads. Blue with the putt. Trying to make a long shot. Orange can't get the puck any further. Oh, no. Now they've got an opportunity. Two players down. Can he shoot them through the legs? Solid defense while on the ice. This is actually scrum material going in. Oh, it's just a mess. Whistle's been blown. They're going to have to have a face-off here. Oh, that did, I think that could be game over. Yes, it is. And the winner's a blue. Oh, there you go. Something different for the in-crowd entertainment. We'll take a break, quick break. We're going to be back for period two action very soon. Don't go away. Kia ora and welcome back to another round of NZHL Quick Shifts with Puck Here. With so much great hockey happening and so little time, let's get right into what's happening around the league, all thanks to our mates at Sal's Pizza. The Canterbury Red Devils went down 9-6 in a goal fest last Saturday only to answer back in a big way the following game. Tim Carey was solid in net to 54 of 58 shots. With just over five minutes remaining, a Chris Eden goal gave Canterbury a 4-1 lead, a margin that is never safe in hockey, just ask any Leafs or Oilers fans. He skates backwards, back to Hyde, he's going to charge in, send in a pass and a shot and a score. Jacob Hurran managed to tie things up for the Thunder and force overtime before teenage sensation Jacob Carey gave the Red Devils the W. Devils from the point, long shot and shot, get a goal! They score 5-4, the final score! But perhaps the real highlight from that night at Alpine Ice was the intermission entertainment. This is what hockey is all about. Little kids are reminding us why we love the game while they're out there having the time of their life. And a goal, hey! All right, we love to uh, celebrate big milestones and they don't come much bigger than playing in your 150th NZHL game. Joining us now on Quick Shifts is Michael Atwell of the Botany Swarm. Uh, Michael, thanks for taking the time uh, to hang yeah. out with us. Uh, your teammates had you skating out uh, for warm-ups by yourself uh, at the Hive to mark that uh, game. Can you describe what that moment was like for you? Oh, it was pretty good. I mean, I'm not the type of guy that likes the attention like that, but... Um... For, for a milestone like that, it, um, it feels really special to be out there and to be recognized. So, no, nah, as, as much as I don't like it, it was it was really cool. Uh, you've been in the league now since, you know, 2019 when you made uh, the debut. It was just a 17-year-old. Uh, I'm sure there's so many moments, but do you have a favorite moment from playing for the Swarm? Um, I guess the two championships we won um, back in the day were pretty special. The... The one from home was probably the best one. Um, a huge sold out crowd. That's when we didn't get many players, uh, many supporters, um, but we had a sold out rank right around shoulder to shoulder and we managed to win the championship at home. And, and that was probably probably the best title of the career. Um, and then also the Trans-Tasman the year after when we went to Melbourne was also pretty special. Yeah. Um, so those, those would be the most special times and then obviously games like 100 games and the 150 are also pretty special and then 200 as well coming up 
Oh, there you go. I love that. You're already eyeing up the next milestone. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, the Swarm couldn't come away with the result in either game last weekend, losing 2-1 to the West Auckland Admirals in Avondale on Saturday, followed by Sunday's 6-2 defeat in Botany. George Costa was the top scorer of that game, adding two goals to his name, including a shorty. It's intercepted by Dixon. Dixon won against Mawson. Mawson looks like he's laboring. Oh, right. sends it in Dylan front. Dixon. What a pass to Costa, who what buries it in front. Our NZ NHL play of the week goes to this beauty of a shot by Red Devils captain Bradley Apps on the penalty kill. Apps coming up the left side. He's going to take a shot and a goal! Short hander for Bradley Apps. Next round, the Swarm will fly south to Dunedin to take on the Phoenix Thunder. Start your weekend right with some Friday night puck with Game 2 Saturday. Meanwhile, on Saturday and Sunday, the West Auckland Admirals will host the Red Devils at Paradise Avondale. It's early days yet here in the 2021 NZHL season, but we've already seen plenty of great action, so make sure you get out there and support your local hockey club. And come back here June 2nd for more quick shifts. And subscribe to Puck Here Podcasts on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts for more Kiwi hockey banter and interviews. Thanks for watching. Staying in peak physical form out here on the ice it means we got to put the time at the gym too. Anytime fitness, get to a healthier place. We're giving a shout out to 15 to 30 year olds in the southern region. Our passion is ice hockey and it's all about teamwork. When it comes to protecting our southern community from measles, we need everyone to be a team player. If you're aged between 15 and 30 and have not yet been immunized for measles, you can get a vaccination for free. Please see your GP if you have one or participating pharmacies. Be a guardian of the future.
Alrighty, folks, welcome back. Period two, just about to get underway here in Dunedin. If you just joined us, the Botany Swarm are leading the Phoenix Thunder 1 0 after one period. Courtesy of Winston Lee putting one home of a feed from Chung at the point. Full name, Josh Winston Lee. Lee. Alrighty, get, about to get back into it. Enright with a quick chance to have a shot. Tried to go five hole, but Harrison has got it caught under the pads. Would have been a fantastic start to the period for the Thunder to get one early. Hyde will take the face off for the Thunder. On the far side, Swarm Zone. Kapanovic will chip it up the boards. and Gregory just keeps it in for a while, but Swarm get it out of the zone. Picked up by Vultan off. He steps in, trying to go around Harford. He picks it up, turns around, chips it across the ice. Picked up by Hyde. Steps into the zone. Centers it towards Harrison who plays it out to the side. Gregory takes a hit. Trying to keep it down low. Swarm come out with it. They go for a change while they can. Harford looks across to Reed. He looks up the boards to hide. Chips it ahead. Looking for Haring. Back into the neutral zone now, and it's at Greer. Playing back to Reed. Chipped ahead by Hurry. Thunder go after it behind the net. Can't win the puck, the Thunder, though, on the full check, and it's been passed up the ice. Hurry will turn it back around to the swarm. To Hay. Hay steps into the zone. Takes a shot. Goes wide and there for Harry to try and clear it out. He does. Gets it to Johnson who just sends it back in. Mawson held the puck well there. Almost turned it over. Hay steps into the middle and we've got an offside call by the Lionsman. Third line out for both teams. Commons at centre. With Woodston Lee and Prinsloo. Sent in by Barakowskis. Kept in by the Swarm. They've got it in the corner. Centering pass. Off the skates of the defenceman. Through the middle again. Barakowskis will send it down low. Picked up by Commons behind the net. It's Prince Lou now. Turns it back around, but his teammates didn't know what was happening. Burgess going hard into the corner, avoids the check. Can't get it out though, the Thunder. Still with it, the Swarm. To Barakowskis, it takes a shot. It goes really wide into the corner. Going to get picked up. So Winston Lee sends it down low. Good pressure here by the Swarm. Him and the Thunder in their own zone. Goes towards the net. Shark has got it, has he? Yes, he does. A little bit loose there. Bounced up in front of him. Good shift there for the Swarm. Pinning the Thunder down low in their own zone. They come out with their top line now. Hopkinson going to take the draw.
clean win, but too clean all the way back down to the swarm zone. Trying to find some room. It's been turned over by Gregory to Hyde, who puts it high and over the top. Fantastic chance on a giveaway by the Swarm. Hyde over the top. Solid hit there. Reed soaks up a shot from Lepanovic. Gregory left it behind. He can't pick it up, and it's the Swarm coming back. Taking the shot. Going into the corner. Kozak. Up to Fatanov. To Mawson. Takes a shot. And he scores past the glove of Shuck. Mawson, who's having a good game, steps into the middle and fires it home. Giving the Swarm a two goal lead here in Dunedin. He'll be pleased with that one. He's taking the opportunity to step into the zone and take some shots. That one there from the point. Real defenseman's goal. Swarm get it down low, courtesy of Cole. Thunder, dump it in and chase after it. Trying to win the puck back. Devlin goes after it. Thula takes a shot from Haring. Haring will pick up the puck. A little battle in the corner here. Who's going to come out with it? It's Haring looking to the centre. Swarm able to use their sticks to get this one out. Here comes Cole. Steps in, there's a shot. Oh, just off the pipe. Oh, the uh, puck has gone in. I thought it came off the pipe, but it's been called a goal. Signaled by the referee. And Shuck's unhappy with that one. Bit of a nothing shot, and he didn't see it coming. It's 3-0 Swarm. Thunder need to get on the board here. Down three goals early in the period two. Not even five minutes gone yet. They're going to want something to light the fire here. Who better than the top line? The Paris Hyde out there with Enright and Gregory. Hyde trying to step to the middle. Shot goes past the pads. Swarm pass up the middle. Hopkinson. He's going to take a shot as he gets. He does. Goes up and over the top into the corner. Can come all the way out. Hyde's going to pick it up. Looking to the centre. In right. Can't win the battle with his stick. Here comes the Swarm again. Into the zone. Hopkinson pulls up. It's taken off the puck by Hyde. Hyde gets it out. Going to be picked up by Gregory. He's got Enright with him. He can find him. He goes for the backhand pass. And it's to no one but Vultai off on the swarm. Turns it back to Chung. He's going to try and skate with it. Looks up by Snow to Commons. Steps in. Puts it down low. Sam Mortis. Found in right, but just off the stick and played out by the Swarm. Barakowskis now for the Swarm, will skate out from behind his own net. Off the stick and deflected up high into the Thunder zone. So on towards Shaku who will cover this one in the blue paint and draw a whistle. Just not working out for the Thunder in some of those stretch passes. 
Players just aren't able to hold on to the pass. Well, the passes are not going to where they're intended to go. Sam Wallace is going to skate this one through the neutral zone. He's going to chip it all the way over the boards. Intended to be just a little chip dump in, but he's flicked it over the glass. Face off at the center ice. Out to the side here. Burgess will get it ahead. Mawson to Thula. Up the boards to Hay. Hay looks to the center. Pass up ice. Intercepted by the Swarm. Hay steps in. Can't control it, Reed. And now Grier will go behind the net. Big hit on Devlin by Ollie Hay. Pass across ice is deflected into the corner. Or oh, the pass intended for the man going up ice. Just intercepted by Hurring. Stopped a dangerous play there. It's Morrison's pass to Johnson is tipped into the zone. Settled in the middle of the ice for Thula. Steps into the circle, left it behind, picks it up again. Still with it, goes through the blue paint, picked up by the Swan, they take a shot. Rebound out in front, another shot here, this one off the blocker of Shuck and into the netting. Chuck making a good save there. And a couple of shots coming at him hard. Half its pass is intercepted. Stepping into the zone. It's the swarm. And they go through the five hole of Chuck. Hopkinson with a great feed. I think that's full time off who scored. And the Swarm are taking control of this game. Up 4 0 now. Mistakes by the Thunder proving very costly. Looking for the long passes up ice. And they're getting tipped or intercepted. And it's leading to turnovers. And it's costing them dearly. Reed will send this one up ahead. Swan will send this one all the way down ice. Negates the ice with a good chase by Kozak. Harford looking for a big pass up to Gregory. He wins the puck. Looks to the centre. Hyde. Trying to go to the front to Ortis. Ortis again. Puck was through his feet, so he couldn't get a stick on it. Hyde. Step into the middle now. Looking across to Harford. Harford shoots. Nice block out in front. It's out of the zone. It's Lily on the ice. Picked up by Voltan Office there for the Swarm. Shot in the blue paint. It's loose, but picked up by the Thunder, and they come out with it. Sam Ortis. Rolf puts it down low. Shot goes wide of the net. Up in the corner, he'll chip it in behind the net. Swarm move it out. It's there in the neutral zone. 
McKenzie skates it in, trying to fight his way through. Can't do so. The Swarm defense is strong. Lily kept it in, and the Thunder sent it down low. Swarm played around the boards. Swarm with it, and they move it up the boards. It's there for Lily. Lily takes a shot. It goes wide. Passing it down into the corner. Thunder looking back to the point. Low shot, and the man in front for the Swarm picks it up as Thula. He'll turn back and slow it down. Change here for the Thunder. Picked up by the Thunder now, but taken off the puck. Was that Greer? And we have a whistle on the play. Coming up this week, folks, on the NZHL, Tuesday, Tuesday, where you get to pick the players and coaches you want to hear more about. Tell us who you want to hear from on the NZIHL Instagram page on a Tuesday and we will get the scoop inside information on players, teams we want to hear from you and what you want to hear Thunder will get this one in Haring will chase after it Haring works it to Haring. Can't get it low. And Swarm trying to get this one out. Still there at the feet of the Swarm players. Now they have it. Played in by Prince Lou. Winston Lee, goal scorer, takes a shot. And Chuck has this one in his glove. Nice save there from Chuck, not allowing the rebound and any second chances. Two games on tonight. One of them is probably coming to an end very soon, if not already over. We're still going to Admirals hosting the Red Devils. And we're going to have a penalty on the play here, are we? Yes, we are. It's going to be tripping. Tripping on Gregory. He hits to the bench. It's going to be a power play for the Botany Swarm. I believe this first power play of the game for them. Maybe I missed the entire power play, but I could be wrong. Tipped ahead by the Thunder. Paris Hyde is going to try and win the buck and kill some time off. Can't do so. Swarm able to bring it out. Thunder with the puck now, though. Watching seconds tick off the clock. Full level. Take it into the zone. Picked up by the Swarm. Center in pass, trying to chip it ahead. And whistle goes. Player in front, just trying to hurry the puck ahead. I missed an entire penalty. Yes, Sam Waters was called up for holding earlier on in the period. Didn't miss this one, though. Can't really blame my glasses for missing an entire penalty. No, I can count to five, no matter what those other people say. A minute left on the Botany Swarm power play. They haven't really had anything going here at the moment. Connor Rolfe and Ian Ortis out here killing the penalty. It's a lot of faith put in there by Jeff Avery. Swarm will bring it in. Their pass across to Hay. Hay pulls up. 
Trying to get around Darling, who wins the puck, and he's going to clear this out. It's going to bounce all the way down. And it's more time off the puck. In order, it's going to get it. He's going to look to the centre. Lapanovic, though, with some good work, gets his feet in the way. Pass up the middle. Finds the man, but he couldn't hold it. Thunder clear it again. This one has been played by the Swarm into the Phoenix Thunder box. It's going to be called dead. It's going to be 15 seconds left on the Gregory penalty. Giving the Thunder a shot of killing this one off. Reed makes a good stick play in the neutral zone. Swarm stepping into the zone. Turning back and looking to the top. Mawson trying for another one. Takes a hard shot off the blocker of Shuck into the corner. Back to full strength now. Swarm to the middle to Hopkinson. He takes a shot and he scores with a fantastic wrister past the glove of Shuck. From about five metres out. Hopkinson with a beauty top shelf. He's put the swarm up by five. Dyer straights here for the Phoenix Thunder on home ice. going to take a lot to change this around. There's been a goalie change with Shuck coming off. And Barakowskis in net now. Sometimes it does take a change like that to get things happening. Put the scares up the team telling them that they need to do better. Can't always blame the goalie on some of these ones. Agriere leaves it behind for Hurin. Hurin trying to get it to Devlin, but Hay with a good stick there. For Hurin again, he's got a man in front. It's there for Agriere, but his tip goes wide. Wilson with the drive, it's tipped on, oh, hit the bar and over. Agriere again with a shot, Harrison and the glove safely. Swarm will like to see that whistle go. Fantastic chances there for Agriere. And Wilson hitting the bar. Face off and stopped by Harrison. We're going to do that face off again. Nice clean win. Pass to Darling, can't hold it. Swarm come out with it. It's Thula. Can't get the shot through. Get Max Horan all over him. Picked up. By Gregory. Can't clear the zone though. Kozak keeps it in. Darling has the puck. Skates ahead. This pass just a little bit too delayed, and Gregory step over the line. Going to be offside. He's going to be face off on the Thunder side at halfway. Johnson at the draw, he lost it. Hurin trying to step to the middle. Harrison drives on it. There's a goal in front as Harrison couldn't control the puck. 
She tried to cover it and it just slipped out of her grasp and the Thunder are able to poke it home and get themselves on the board here finally in period two. We've got just under five minutes left and the home team are on the board. The crowd is happy about that. It's about time, they say. They've been waiting 25, sorry, waiting 35 minutes for the lamp to be lit. Let's hope it provides a bit of spark here for the home team. Johnson gets taken down. No call on the players. He stepped into the circle. Shot of Barakowskis. Another shot of Barakowskis. Keeps it out. Chung will chip it back ahead and send the Swarm back in on the four check, but they're changing up, so Hay trying to do it all on south. Here comes Harford. Steps through the zone. Hurin trying to kick it to the stick. Can't do it, and Hay back through the neutral zone. Pulls up. Looks to the centre. Shot was off the heel of the stick. But the Swarm will keep it in. Ortis. Finds Hurry and he's got one man to beat. He's got Lepanovich to beat. He's tried to go around him. Lepanovich uses the body wow and Harrison will come out and cover it up. Lepanovich doing a good job playing the man and not the puck. Hurry got it through but he couldn't move past to get a clean shot away. Lily takes a shot, it's low, but there's no one in front and cleared out easily by the Swarm. Wilson chips it ahead onto Harrison. She's going to cover this one. I like the sign on the far side by the Swarm fans over the back of the bench there. Pure poison. Nice big banner. A few signs up in the crowd here for the Thunder as well. Bit of a competition going in the last few games. Oh, nice pass up the front. It's a swarm with an opportunity here. Trying to go high on Barakowskis. And it goes right over the top. That was Votanov. Dangerous player. Trying to move out in front of the puck. In front of the post here was high. Dangerous opportunity here for the swarm. Turnovers have been... Not so great for the Thunder tonight. Lead pass up to Hyde. He's got Gregory with him going to the net. He shoots it. Harrison plays it out into the corner. Down low for Gregory. Darling puts a little shot on. Kicked out by Harrison. Spuck has played out into the middle zone. Kozak to Hopkinson. Kozak couldn't get a shot away. It's on the half boards there. Thunder behind their own net. Coming out up the side. Tipped over to the far side, this near side here for Gregory, but it's been intercepted by Thula. Harford has it taken away from him, but I think a change on the botany swarm bench has created an offside play, so we'll have a face off Darling's going to go to the bench the box I should say might be for a bit of roughing after the whistle Dylan Devlin was the man tucking in the Thunders 1-1 and only goal so far. Assisted by Haring. Paris Hyde has the puck. Going to try and dance through. Going to pick up the puck after a couple of funny bounces. But he's got four men in front of him. He can't do it all alone. But he's taking a little bit of time off the clock. On this penalty kill. Reed has it. It's bumped off. Gregory's going to 
find this puck and get it out of the zone. Reed has to wait for his players to come back on side. Looking to the centre. Reed up to Thula. Steps to the middle. Keeps it in. Takes a shot. Barakowskis corrals this one out to the side. Thula on the top again. Buster Mawson who shot off the foot in front. Picked up by the Swarm again. Stepping in. Now around behind the net. Looking out to Mawson. To Thula. Shot in front. There it is. Ah, oh, Barakowskis with the cover. Does a good job. The shot pass from Thula. Crowd enjoyed that save. Some good passing by the Swarm on the power play around the top. And then finally a nice little slap pass down low. Found the man on the weak side. And Barakowskis says no. 40 seconds left on the power play. Hurrying. Can he get this one out? No, he's taken into the boards. It's at the feet there. He's working hard. Been picked up by Hurrying now. Good work by Hurrying. Max Hurrying, that is. And behind the net. Kicking it free. Devlin has the puck. He looks to the centre. Trying to go backhand on Harrison. But she had the corner post covered well. Kozak with it. Looks across the top. Portanov shoots. Deflections in front. It's hit a man in the face. He's not happy. He's straight off. That deflected up high. Dylan Dillon, a Devlin, little bit. Dylan Devlin has it again behind the net. He's going to look out front, but Harrison's stack is in the way. Good play there by Harrison. Chipped ahead by the Thunder. That is the end of the period. An unfortunate one for the Swarm with one of their players taking a puck to the face off a deflected shot in front. I'm not sure who that was. I can see him on the bench. He's not a, not a happy chap. He might have hit him in the face or up high around the neck area. I didn't catch it. But after two periods here in Dunedin, it's 5-1 to the Botany Swarm. A flurry of goals from them in the second period. Courtesy of Stephen Mawson, Kyle Johnson, Robin Votanoff, and Richie Hopkinson. Initially gave them a 5-0 lead before the Thunder clawed one back by Dylan Devlin to make this a 5-1 game after two periods. Looks like we're in for another rendition of recliner racing. Not sure if we'll have the defending champion back this time. Looks like it might be a fresh set of legs out there for the recliner racing edition. Game two. Always exciting to see this intermission entertainment. Something a little bit different for the Thunder this year. Bringing on some very interesting developments for the Dimension Entertainment. This one here, one of the crowd favourites. I think that's a uh, teammate of mine, Cam Brooks, in the Capitals jersey with his, I think that's his girlfriend. I'm sorry, but I don't know your name. And who we got? I'm trying to catch who we've got here on the near side. All right, just about to get underway. We've got Team Red and Team Green. And we're off. Can't get a fast start, Canberra, trying to get it moving. Near side, Team Green's got a good head start. They're off and racing. I think that's Jody Lewis, perhaps. She's pushing hard. She's got a huge lead here. She's going to slow this one down, swap it over. Key is to get going first fast on this one. Get those feet gripping. 
Cam Brooks trying to slow it down. He can't do it. He's gone too deep. And here we go. It's Team Green with a huge lead. I don't think they're going to be stopped here. Massive, massive lead. More than half the ice. And they're cruising home here for the easiest of victories. Team Red, Cam Brooks, they're struggling at the back there. Why are you even bothering? Don't finish the race. Hang your head in shame. Didn't even swap players, I, I guess, because one of them's carrying crutches. Makes it a bit hard to push on the ice when you're in crutches. But there we have it. Second period, second intermission entertainment done and dusted. Team Green take out the recliner. Ice racing. We will be back very shortly for period three. 13 minutes time. Make sure you're back here to catch all the action. See you soon. Staying in peak physical form out here on the ice it means we got to put the time at the gym too. Anytime fitness, get to a healthier place. We're giving a shout out to 15 to 30 year olds in the southern region. Our passion is ice hockey and it's all about teamwork. When it comes to protecting our southern community from measles, we need everyone to be a team player. If you're aged between 15 and 30 and have not yet been immunized for measles, you can get a vaccination for free. Please see your GP if you have one or participating pharmacies. Be a guardian of the future.
All right, folks, here we go. We are getting ready for period three here in Dunedin. Game two of this weekend's action from the Dunedin International Ice Stadium. Swarm have a lead of four goals, 5-1 to them after a second period that was lights out for them. Four goals. Thunder will need a very dramatic comeback here to work their way back into this game, but they did it last weekend against the Red Devils. Scoring four in the third period to come back in the last two minutes. Halford's down low here with the puck. Goes to the front. Oh, the pass just into the middle. Shot goes wide. Picked up by the Swarm. Parasite takes a shot. It's deflected in the front. Another shot from the Thunder and they score! Gregory fires it past Harrison to give his team a much needed early goal in the third period. Just what the doctor ordered. A few good chances on this shift for the Thunder. And I guess a lucky bounce off a deflected shot from Hyde. Crowd happy on their feet for that one. Darling looks up to Agrier, trying to find Devlin, but it was at his feet, and Cole will pick it up. Buck is high. Johnson takes a shot. Yeah, Barakowskis covers this one up. It's into the pads easily for him. Third and final period here. This is the second game of the weekend and final game for the Thunder this weekend and the Swarm. Game one going the way of the Swarm. They're looking to make it two out of two here. Devlin putting this on Harrison. She covers this one up. Results coming out of West Auckland. 4-3 to final score to the West Auckland Admirals. They carry on their winning ways. That's their third win so far. Three out of three for them. Lipanovic for the Swarm will bring this one out. Skating through the neutral zone. All the way, doing it himself. Stepping through the middle, but offside. Unlucky for him as he looking to fire a shot off as he got through the middle. Face off on the Thunder side of halfway in the neutral zone. Hopkinson and Rolf will tie it off and pick it up. Puck hits the linesman and orders picking it up, trying to find the man up the middle. Just missed him. Oh, Jack Lewis's pass up the middle to Vatanov. He's going to pick it up. He's going to go to the net. And Barakowskis with a great save. On Vatanov, who had a good run straight up the middle. Lewis will be unhappy with the pass here. He passes straight to Vatanov. You couldn't make anything happen, but Barakowska standing up strong there. Draw into the corner. There for the Swarm. Fighting for it hard on the boards was McKenzie. Pass goes across the ice to the corner. Mawson will keep it down low. Up to the point for the Swarm. Sipping to the top of the circle, taking a shot, it's deflected out to the side. It's 
It's Reed here. He played up the boards. Thunder get it out. McKenzie to Lewis. Picked up by Thula. Lewis putting pressure on Thula. Thula steps into the neutral zone. He's looking up. He's got plenty of room to move. Gets around Hyde. Looking to the centre. Johnson with it. Takes a shot. Does he know? He got the stick of Hyde in the way. Breaking up the shot. Pass to Hyde. He looks up. He's got two men in front of him. He goes around. Goes to the backhand. Goes forehand. Tries to get it on Harrison's, but it's been blocked. Well and truly into the corner. Gregory. Lost it at his feet. And Mawson, who come out of it. Looking up the middle of the ice. Can't get the pass through. We'll dump it in. And Darling will be back there for the Thunder to pick it up. Hurrying to Hyde. His pass is deflected. It's there for the Swarm. A shot into the pads of Barakaskas. We had no trouble covering that one. I mentioned earlier in the live stream about checking in with all your favourite teams social media the Sosh Med Instagram Facebook don't forget to tune into the NZIHL Facebook page to catch NZIHL Quick Shifts with Puck Year on Wednesdays at 6.30 our pals at Puck Year bring the freshest interview stats game updates and more that's Wednesday, 6.30 on the NZIHL Facebook page. A shot from long range is bobbled by Harrison. And she caught it and held it. And waiting for some pressure before the whistle goes. Face off to the right of Hopkinson. Devlin will take the draw. It's at the back for Lopanovic to pick up. Goes up the board, skipped in by Hurry. That was Lily, I'm, a Lily, I'm afraid, keeping it in. My bad. Pass from the Thunder, picked up by 22. That's Franich. And his shot covered by Barakowskis, gloved easily. Three goal lead for the Swarm. Dangerous lead, the three goal lead. It can disappear in a heartbeat if you're not careful. Thunder trying to make that happen here in the third period. Sam Ortis has it, gets it ahead. He's going to chase it down with Connor Rolf. Ian Ortis is going to leave it behind. And Thula will get it up the ice. But it's Harford who intercepts. Can't find Ortis on the pass. Mawson for the swarm. Skates out behind his own net. Up into the neutral zone. Through the neutral zone. Trying to beat Haring. Puts a head on after losing the puck. Hopkinson steps over the line, leaves it for Kozak. Puts Hahn off. Gets it down low. Half it though with a good stick. Wins the puck. Gets it up to Ortis. Can't get it out though. Chung will keep it in. It's there for Kozak. Moving around. Looking for someone to pass to. Skates into the corner. Pulls up. Look across for Chung. Chung steps in. Fires. And into the glove of Barakowskis. Good save there on a hard shot from Chung. Really wound up for that one. Barakowskis diving on this puck after a shot. 
Covers it up nicely. Whistle goes and play is dead. Take this opportunity to thank our sponsors again. The Phoenix Thunder would like to thank Phoenix Organics, the Need a Nice Stadium, New 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 Corporation, Anytime Fitness, Calder Stewart, Liquorland Anderson's Bay, Calder Construction, Osaki Otago, Battery Town, the Goldman Group, and Kia Photos. They appreciate all the help. Face off in the Thunder Zone. Johnson will take the draw for the Swarm. He wins it back. Hay tries to step up, but didn't have time for a shot. He just puts it down low. Back up to Hay. Keeps it in. Darling looking up the middle. Picked up by Enright. Enright. Oh, fan on the shot, unfortunately. Hyde's going to keep it in. He's going to try and beat a player, but he can't do so. Darling will get it down to Gregory to Hyde. Back to Gregory. Gregory tries to go close in on Hopkinson and he's on Harrison and he's got it through. Somehow he snuck it through. He skated right into the net and I didn't see it go in but it must have just bobbled over the pads. And the Thunder have got another one back here. It's 5-3. Just under seven minutes gone. Thunder is striking. Back here. Get into within two. They were doing this last night. Keeping in the game. Only to watch the Swarm just eke out even further each time. But tonight could be a different story. In right. Wins the puck here. Steps in behind the net. Left it behind though. And it's out to the point the swarm will get it out Harford is going to dump this one down Gregory's going to go after it Thunder keep it in Gregory wins the puck trying to get it down low to Hyde Hyde's behind the net trying to get it to the middle it's there it's loose it's a backhand by Hyde he can't get it on net though Legs in the way, it's there for the Thunder, and Votanov takes a huge hit from Hyde. Votanov is down, slow to go to the bench. Harford steps around Mawson. Kept in by the Thunder. Things getting physical down there in the corner. A bit more of this was needed. We're talking about this during the intermission with some people about the Thunder's need for physicality. Swarmer, really good at playing the body. Swarm will clear this one out. It's going to go all the way down to Burgess. It's going to turn and look up ice, looking for a long pass. Ollie Hay will step into the zone. Gets it around. It's loose in front for Barakowskis to dive on. The whistle's gone. Hay was jumping on the back of the Thunder player who was down in the crease there. I'm not sure what that was all about. Slight delay here as Lepanovic will pick up a stick on the ice down in Swarm's defensive zone. It's Johnson, the draw for the Swarm. In the corner, centering pass goes through the blue paint. Picked up by Hurry. Hurry looking to Aguirre. He's got room to move. He's going to skate in. Takes a shot. Goes wide. Good defensive play there by the Swarm. They're looking up ice. they got a numbers game here. Johnson. Finds Lepanovic. Goes to the centre. Bobbles towards the net but doesn't get quite to Barakowskis. Here comes Devlin. Gets some speed up. 
trying to go past Mawson, who's happy to put the body on. Harris one ahead. Thunder trying to chase it down. Mawson gets it to Whitson Lee. Kozak picks it up. Goes to the centre. There's a shot on, but it goes wide. Out to the middle. Oh, great save by Barakowskis on a one-timing shot from the Swarm. It's still there in front, and Barakowskis now gets his gloves down on top of it. A great chance out in front by the Swarm, the one-timer. Back into the pads of Barakowskis. Behind the net now for the Thunder. Max Hurrying looks up to Enright. He gets it to Hyde. Hyde's got some room to move. Goes across to Gregory who shoots and into the pads of Harrison who comes out hard and meets him. Great save there by Harrison. Hyde usually got to keep an eye on him there. He'll take it to the net quite often. So you got to respect him. He got the pass across to Gregory, who's got one goal tonight, couldn't add a second. That shot up high and behind the net from Darling. Up to Hurring. Hurring looks across to Darling. Top of the circle takes a shot. Deflected out in front. In right. Plays it down to himself. Steps out, leaves it for Hurring. Hurring shot, tipped. Dribbles off to the side of the net and Harrison covers. Thunder with some momentum now. Scored the last three goals. Devlin will jump on the ice and take the face off here. Can't win this one back. It's Ollie Hay. He's going to chip it up the boards. Kept it by the Thunder. Looking out front for Devlin. Takes a shot. It's bouncing down in front. Going to get cleared out, is it? No. Hurrying. Harford keeps it in. It's hurrying down low. Harford steps to the middle. Can't fire a shot away. And Johnson is going to play this one down low. Thunder will have to go back and get it. Devlin over halfway. Can't get it into the zone of the swarm. Harford plays it to Ortis. Ortis gets a nice little pass. There's a shot there and it's a goal! It's a goal for Hurring. Off a feed from Ian Ortis. And the Thunder have got it back to within one here in Dunedin. The crowd is alive. What a fantastic turnaround for the Phoenix Thunder here in game two in Dunedin. Timeout, I believe, called by the Swarm. Looking to slow it down and dissect what's just happened to them. been a flurry of attack by the Thunder now really getting things going Noah Gregory has, has got two goals I think I called before that he was looking for a second but he's actually looking for his hat trick and that goal there by Jacob Hurrying off a feed from Ian Ortiz his first assist in the NZHL he scored his first goal last night and assist here tonight His father will be a happy man watching his son playing his first year of NZHL and getting on the boards. Hopkinson in behind the net, looking out in front. It's bouncing around and Barakowskis is diving on top of it. Since he's come in, he's been playing stellar. A 
I said it earlier, a change in the goalkeeping can fire a team up. You can't be sure that's what's happened here, but it certainly has been a turnaround since then for the Phoenix Thunder. I think they're going to get a penalty here, though. Tristan Darling's going to sit for two. And the Phoenix Sun are going to have to kill a penalty off here. Down by one goal. They've got eight minutes and 19 seconds left in this game to try and score one more. But focus here will be on killing this penalty. It's actually four on four. So that's good news for the Phoenix Thunder. Enright's going to try and chase this one down and win the puck from Lepanovic. It's been flipped up high and out of play. Thunder with some strong players out there. Paris Hyde, who's a, a beast on a penalty kill and on shorthanded ice time. Loves a bit of room, does Paris Hyde. He's got Enright out there with them, Harford and Hurring. Face off win for the Thunder. Tipped in front by Hyde, goes wide though. Hurring trying to work, Hyde trying to work his way to the front. Kept in by Hurring. Still got the puck, Hurring. Goes for the shot, goes wide. And it's Paris Hyde on the half boards, picking it up. Leaves it behind for Harford. Fanned on a shot again, Harford. It's here for Kozak. Kozak's got Hurring coming at him. He tries to deke him round. Hurring. No, sorry, Harford. I don't know why I keep saying Hurring. His shot is hard in the, off the glove of Harrison. Kozak with another chance. Trying to go around Wilson. Barakowskis plays it out to Lepanovic. He gets taken into the boards. Paris Hyde will flip this ahead. Mawson keeps it in. Gets it down low. Johnson looks across ice. Just bounces out of the zone for the swarm. Cole looks across to Johnson. Flips it to Barakowskis. And bounces in behind the net. Time to get up to Hurring. Yes, that is Hurring. He's going to get it in the corner. He gets taken off the puck. Swarm with it. Looking up to Johnson. John Johnson gets taken off the puck by Devlin. He put in a nice hat. Back to five on five. Hurring going to the backhand. Forehand. Oh, gets it on Grace Harrison. But she made a fantastic save with the glove. Hurrying, look, trying to go backhand, forehand as he drove hard towards the net. Can't give the Thunder the much needed tying goal here. It's all action here in period three. I hope you're enjoying it. The crowd here in Dunedin Ice Stadium is absolutely fizzing. Lepanovic with the puck, chips it ahead. Harford has his pass stolen. Hopkinson takes a shot into the pads of Barakowskis. Not a smart play there from Harford, unfortunately. Just took his time and then his pass was intercepted. Hopkinson at the draw for the Swarm here. Thunder making changes. Out comes Connor Rolf. Take the draw. He wins it back for his team. And they clear it up. 
Stepanovic gets it down. They chip it ahead. Kozak puts it in behind the net. Played up the ice for the Thunder. They've got it over halfway and into the zone. Walton off. Played into the zone by Johnson. Commons will chase it down. Trying to win the puck in the corner. He's got Johnson with him. Picked up by Commons. Commons in behind. Turns. Loses his footing but plays it out into the corner. It's going to be Cole. Cole puts it towards net. Commons. Fighting for the puck. No call on the play as players goes down. Swarm players with their arms up. This is going to just bounce out of the zone. And Enright's going to try and scatter here with it. Can't get it any further than the blue line. It's been dumped in by the Swarm. And it's going to be an icing against the Swarm. Thunder will get a fresh set of legs out there. Swarm won't. Good chance for the Thunder here to try and drive some play in the Swarm zone. they got Devlin at the face-off here. This is an important win here. They've got a chance here if they can get this puck. It's there. A shot goes off the man in front. Good block by the defenseman. Burgess has the puck. Looks across to Wilson. The ice to Agriere. Tipped ahead by the Swarm. Wilson to Devlin. Picked up by Agriere. Gets it over the blue line. Looks to the centre. Finds no one but a Swarm player. Swarm. Here they come. It's Kozak. Steps in. Turns it back on Hopkinson. Who got hit hard after the shot. And it's been tipped into the netting by Barakowskis. Play will stop. Lewis wins the draw. It's in the corner for the Thunder. Can they get this one out? They come up with it. Harin has it. Looks out to Darling. It will trip this one ahead. Kept in by the Swarm. Nice play. Stepping into the middle. Too many defensemen in the way. Lapanovic on the point. Takes a shot. It's a rebound in front, but there's no one there for the Swarm to take advantage. Harin looks up to Ian Ordis. Ian Ordis has got his brother with him. Two on one. Shoots it. Off the blocker of Grace Harrison. Good chance to shoot there from Ian Ordis. The stick's been played into the corner. He's going to have to leave the ice. Ordis is fighting for the puck in the corner. We're going to have a penalty on the swarm, I think, for a cross check on Sam Ordis. And Thunder are going to have a power play with two minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock. Lepanovic is going to the box. Timeout called by the Thunder. Wow, we've got a little bit of time here, so I'm just going to go over a couple of things here. A bit of admin. Upcoming games for the Phoenix Thunder here in Dunedin. They'll be playing host to the Canterbury Red Devils, who they split two games up with in uh, Canterbury last weekend. They're coming down here on the 11th and 12th of June. Tickets from the Dunedin Ice Stadium. And the Botany Swarm will be playing the Sky City Stampede up in Auckland the 5th and 6th of June at 5 p.m. Tickets from the Auckland Ice Hockey Association AIHA.org.nz Make sure you get tickets, get along. Nothing like live ice hockey. Back to the game. Phoenix Thunder with a power play. Two minutes 55 left in the period. The final period. The win, the face-off. It's back to Harford. 
Harford to hide down low. Looks to the centre. Can't get the pass through. Harford has it. Nice chant here. Green Machine. Enright looking to the front. Enright to Max Hurring. Enright. Back to the top for Max. Back to Enright. Puts it across to Harford. His shot goes behind the net and it's going to be played down the ice by the Swarm. A good clearance there. Hurrying to Harford. It's up to Gregory on the far side but the pass is intercepted. Max Hurrying. Looks up to Enright. He picks up the puck. Parasite's going to the net. Looks across to Gregory. Gregory shoots for the hat trick. Trying to go across the blue paint to hide. Cleared out by the Swarm. Tristan Darling on the ice. A minute to go on the power play. Changes for the Thunder. Darling for Hyde. He steps around one. Into the zone. Trying to go through the middle. He gets through. Goes to the backhand. Oh, Grace Harrison with a fantastic pad save. Up to Darling. The drive. He fakes it. And then the shot is deflected up high. There's some uh, discussion in the blue paint there. I wasn't watching what was going on. I was following the puck. Hyde just stepped through the middle, tried to go to the backhand and put it around the pads of Harrison, but a fantastic save from her, kicking out that right toe. And I think it's Hyde to the box. And we're going to have four on four here. I think we've got, actually no, there's a small player in the box as well. I can see that. So it still will be a power play for the Thunder. They've got a minute 28 to get this one done. If they're going to come back, they're going to come back within 90 seconds. They've still got Barakowskis in the net. I would have thought by now you might be pulling the goalie. Get that extra attacker out there. They win the face-off. Darlene, back to Hurrying. The drive is low and it's deflected out into the corner. Mawson's going to win this one. Can he get it out? Kept in by Darlene. Into the corner now. Wilson can't hold on to it. 60 seconds remaining. Darling one puts this one in the middle. And Hopkinson gets it down low. De Devlin's going to try and pick this one up. He can't get to it fast enough though. Agriere steps around one. Looks up to Dylan. Devlin, he steps into the zone. Just off the stick though. Hurrying gets taken down. No call on the play. Cleared out, almost a delay of game, but just tipped the glass. 30 seconds. Barakowskis is off. They've got the extra attacker now, the Thunder. Harford with it. Fakes the pass, steps around for time off. Steps into the zone. Time running out for the Thunder. Oh, the Swarm have covered this one up in the corner, eating up the time. It's out. There's a chance for a shot. Good deflection by the Swarm. I think that's Thule. Goes for the empty netter. It's just wide. But time will run out here in Dunedin. And the Swarm have just snuck in. The Thunder applying all sorts of pressure towards the end there, but it wasn't enough to get it done. They fall 5-4 to the Botany Swarm. In game two of this weekend's action, unfortunate for them, that's two losses in two games at home. Not what the crowd wanted, but I'm sure they would have loved the way that the Thunder played in that third period. A quick goal to get them back on the board and get them into this game in the third period. And then they just kept on coming. Noah Gregor with two goals to help his team along, but it wasn't enough to tie them up and force an overtime, unfortunately.
I hope you enjoyed the live stream tonight. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm sure the rest of the team here, Connor and Nicholas Hall on the camera, will be pleased things went smoothly. Don't forget to check out the Phoenix Thunder Ice Hockey Instagram page for the Legend Lager Player of the Day. See which player picks up that award. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed the action. We'll see you next time down here in Dunedin for more NZIHL action.